Hi, everyone, and welcome to Pico CTF, which is a cybersecurity competition platform that allows you to learn, practice, and compete. This video is brought to you by Carnegie Mellon University, Pico CTF, and the NSA's Gen Cyber Program. So what is, what exactly is a capture the flag? Like I just said it four different times and we may or may not even know what that is. So initially there are two different types of capture the flag competitions. It was originally a sort of physical chess game where teams were pitted against each other in this battle and your goal is to capture this physical flag. Um, and then you rise triumphant above the other team. Um, and if you, it's still a very popular game to play if you've ever been to camp or if you're really into like paintball, then you have definitely participated in the physical capture the flag competition before. Um, but now it also refers to a capture the flag cybersecurity competition. So these are a type of cybersecurity competition where participants are presented with a series of challenges that are designed to test their cybersecurity skills and knowledge. Now these challenges can range from topics, so you could have cryptography, network security, web security, reverse engineering, and so many other things that you can get into. Do not let any of these words scare you off. I promise you, it is they are fantastic places to be, especially if you wanna get into the wonderful world of cybersecurity. So, and each challenge typically tests one or more of these skills. And then when you solve the challenge or the problem, then it releases the flag, which is usually a piece of data or code that has been hidden or encrypted in some way. And then once you have the flag, you submit it and you get points and fireworks goes off and it's fantastic. So this is definitely more of um, just like a mental challenge or not running around and doing a whole bunch of physical things, even though there in some competitions, there are physical aspects of it. Um, but these competitions can be local, national, or even international at this point. So what is PICO CTF? PICO CTF is something that was once just a capture the flag competition, but has now grown into this entire platform and learning community that sets out to create a world where everyone has the opportunity to learn and practice cybersecurity skills for free. Pico CTF gamifies the cybersecurity education process by providing a safe and unique hands-on experience where challenges are presented in a graduated on-ramp of puzzles and participants learn to reverse engineer, break, hack, decrypt, and think creatively to capture the flags. Now, I want to highlight that again. Think creatively. That is the whole point of capture the flags. It's so you can flex your mind and solve problems in any way that you can. Um, Pico CTF is also proud to be the largest free cybersecurity learning platform in the world with over 300,000 active learners. They offer 365 learning, which means you can learn all day, every day, 24 seven, 365, if that is what you want to do, um, focused hacking events and a community of ethical hackers for you to communicate with and learn from. There is absolutely no background necessary. Pico CTF is for everyone. You could come, from every corner of the world, from any possible background, all you need is a willingness to learn and you can be successful in PICO CTF. So now let's get started working through some, let's start playing around with PICO CTF and what it is. Here we are. So we just navigate to picoctf.com. And this is the page that pops up whenever you actually navigate to it. So we have, we see that it is sponsored by Carnegie Mellon University. Um, you have a teacher summer camp for the Gen Cyber program coming up. We have different tabs to get started, learn, practice, compete um, about different topics and to log in. You scroll down, you can see that Pico CTF is for everyone. It allows you to go through different things. So you can learn through the Pico primer, practice in the gym, compete in the latest competitions, or to visualize, you can get some different education that goes on. There are different places for teachers and how they can interact with Pico CTF. Um, you can go straight to the gym if that's what you want to do. You have recent events. So there was recently at the time that this video is being created, 
the 2023 competition had recently wrapped up. And then you have a nice list of our sponsors down at the bottom. So there is the online lecture series. Let's go ahead and like click through this. So we have get started. So this is for anyone who's 13 or up. Let's go ahead and sign up. So it takes you, whenever you click sign up, it takes you to the login page at the bottom left. Um, if I go back, then we see that there is a sign up button. So we wanna click on that. We pick a username. We are going to be, actually, let's be sleepy panda. <laughs> I, we are sleepy panda on here. So we're going to pick our age group. Sleepy Panda, we're gonna enter our email. And so this will be your personal email, not Sleepy Panda one, two, three. Um, and it does not have to directly align with what you picked as your username. All it has to do is be a valid email address. So this could be your school email or your personal email. All you need is your email address. So now we're going to create a password. I really don't like that Firefox does that. <laughs> um, um, we verify that we are not in fact a robot. We can pick our player type. Um, if you are a middle or high school student, you pick that. If you're a university student, I'm just gonna click other. Your country, your postal code. Now you can pick whatever postal code is the one you actually live in. You can enter your school or organization name. You can pick your gender, whatever that means, whatever that is for you. And then you could also pick your race and then you sign up and it automatically logs you in. So when you, when you get logged in, there is something that pops up that takes you to uh, overview of the platform. So if you just hit next, it'll tell you where to practice, where you actually build your skills and learn to compete. It tells you that the tab is about um, competitions and exactly what you'll need. And then it directs you to this very, very important part of the web shell, because a lot of the challenges require Linux, which if you are not familiar with Linux, then this will be a great place for you to do so. Also, if you are doing the competition on a school laptop or browser, they may or may not lock it down, which means you would not be able to access the shell on your computer, which is why this web shell is provided. You can also click the link to read more and it will take you to a walkthrough of what the shell is and how you utilize it. Now back to here, after that, we are done. We can see our profile, we can verify our email, do some different things. Now let's go through these different tabs up at the top. So we have learn, we can go to the resources, which takes you to like the lecture series that's being released. Um, you have different learning guides that align with the categories that Pico CTF covers, and then you have external resources. So there is a Capture the Flag 101. So if my little spiel at the beginning as to what a Capture the Flag was left you just completely confused, or you really want to learn more about them, you could go to this link and it'll tell you more about what Capture the Flags are. Um, you have different trainings, like the Networking Academy, Open Security Training, Khan Academy. Um, and then you have like the NSA Code Breaker Challenges and US Cyber Games. These are both really big competitions that people often compete in in the world of cybersecurity. We have the community. This is how you get involved in the Discord server and how you're actually able to interact with different Pico CTF competitors. We have our primer. Now this is quite possibly one of the most important pieces of the website, especially for people starting out. The primer is what gets you started in so many different things. So if you have no idea what anything is, you're beginning on a blank slate, which is beautiful and we welcome you here, then the primer is the best place to start. You can go through an introduction. It tells you exactly what everything is. So what hackers are, why this exists, um, what the shell is and how you actually get through the shell, what forensics are um, and how that they work, how they work, what programming is in Python, because a lot of the challenges do utilize Python and it'll make your life 
a lot easier if you know how to use Python in different aspects. It'll take you through some web exploits. If that's what you're really excited to do, you want to be like a little more of the traditional hacker, the web exploits is always a great place to go. It'll take you through cryptography, the network. If you want to infiltrate databases, binary exploitation, assembly, it takes you through all of it, all in this curated space. But this is not a end-all be-all of information. This is just really a great place for you to start off to learn about different things. Like if you've never seen assembly code before, this is a great place to be. This is a nice little run through that'll tell you how to start playing with things. If you've never if you've never had to use a shell, this is a great place for you to learn about what the shell is. So that's what the primer is there for. It's to prime you, it's to help you. Let's get back to, to Pico. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, we got to do a lot of backs. Um, and then also now we can go into practicing. So that'll take us to the Pico gym. This is telling me I need to, that doesn't really mean that you get X out. You just have to remember to verify your email. So this will take you to the different challenges that you can practice. So there, are, you can see they're sorted by category. You can also go into by the original event. Some, a lot of these challenges were pulled from past Pico competitions, but there are also problems that are only exclusive to the gym here. Um, the general skills category is a great place to start off if you've never done anything, but if any of these pique your interest, then get into it. I mean, then you can go to the compete tab. The compete tab tells you what competitions are going to be ran and when they're going to be ran. Like I mentioned previously, there is a competition that just ended. And at the time that this video is being recorded, so there are, you see that there is nothing here, but that changes. And you can go to classrooms. Now, this is very relevant if you are working on this with a teacher or within a classroom, then they may have a classroom for you to join. And then that is how you would sign up. So now we have learned to navigate the Pico CTF website and its interface. So we now know where to find practice problems, what the primer is, how to access it, um, what the web shell is and how to log into it, and then how to sign up and create an account and how to get started. Our next steps are what, what can we do now that we have set up our account? If you are not familiar with the interface, or the terminal shell or Linux commands, or you just wanna ensure that you have a really solid foundation, then I recommend going to check out the primer and the general skills challenges to work on a few and familiarize yourself with the problem layout, with the space and getting everything together. Now, if you've worked through some already and you have a strong basis and you've really watched this whole video and you're like, oh my gosh, I already knew all of this, then hop on over to the Pico gym and get to, hacking through some of those challenges or click the playlist linked below to get started on some reverse engineering and bina binary analysis problems if that is what floats your boat. Thank you for tuning in and happy hacking.